to watch from the sidelines last year. To be a part of this right now, advance to yet another Final Four in your career, can you just tell me what's going through your mind right now with this team? There's so much gratitude. I'm a living testimony. I give all glory to God. He works in mysterious ways. Um, last year I was praying to be back at this stage um, and he sent me trials and tribulations. Um, but it, it, was, it, was, it was to build my character. It was to test my faith to see if I was Let's only go. believer in the Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! But I just kept on believing. I did all I could so God can do all I can. And just so much joy and pride for this team. I'm so proud. We're not even supposed to be here. And here we are, a godly miracle. And I'm just so proud. I can't even put it into words. That's what coach told us earlier. He said it's going to take a miracle for us to win, especially with a depleted roster. But what is the message to everyone that is that is not an excuse with this group? You can you can overcome anything with God on your side, with hard work on your side, and with a belief and a faith and just the perseverance, the resilience. Um, it's all about how you overcome adversity in life and battle tested and just sticking together as one and not letting anything break us. I saw just recently Coach R.M. walking away with tears in his eyes to just understand what he's put into this group and how you guys can have that moment with him. What is that like? It, I mean, he's our, he's our leader. He's instilled confidence within every single one of us. We got 60 to 70 points sitting on the bench in street clothes, and he's just kept up, kept the belief, kept us motivated, kept us hungry, and just kept us positive. And just to share this moment with him, it means everything. Congrats. We'll see you in the Final Four. Thank you. Yeah! 80 to 73 is your final. UConn knocks out USC. And so the final four is set Friday night, 7 Eastern on ESPN. Undefeated South Carolina against NC State, a team unranked in the preseason amongst the last one standing. And then Caitlin Clark in Iowa taking on Paige Beckers in UConn in the nightcap. For our entire crew, I'm Beth Mowens, Debbie Antonelli. Angel Gray, thanks so much for being with us on the road to the Final Four in Cleveland. Coming up next, it's Sports Center with SVP. Beth, thank you so much. So often, UConn has been the story of this tournament, and once again, they will be part of the story of the Final Four. For an astounding 23rd time, all under Gino Ariema, they head to the final four. We will hopefully speak with Gino in just a moment. We welcome you in to Sports Center. I'm Scott.